Flicko. B Soul said, I'm 17 and starting to work with small artists in my city, along with working on a beat tape. However, I'm a pretty sample based producer and I'm worried about putting stuff out because of sample clearance. Should I be worried? What can I do with no money? I never said this last year. I don't know if I've said this ever. Maybe I have and I just don't remember. But let me be honest. Until you're at a certain size, people are not going to come for you for sample clearance. Let's just be real. Bro, I don't care if you talk to a publisher. I don't care if you talk to a label. I don't care if you talk to a sync company. I don't care if you talk to a manager. I don't care if you talk to another producer. I don't care who you talk to. Until you are a certain size... People are not going to pull your songs down and people are not going to find out about them. If they get a million plays, maybe they will. If people start, if they get really popular, maybe they will. But if that's happening, then you might have some resources to get those samples cleared or someone might come in to help you make that happen. Or you might be able to start building a team that can help you figure out what to do or whatever it is. But I'm not saying no one's listening. I'm not saying no one's paying attention. I'm not saying your music doesn't matter. I'm not saying you're making music that isn't going to get heard. What I'm saying is... Some of my favorite albums of all time, released in the last few years, released a long time ago, still to this day have uncleared samples all over them. And I'm not going to say what it is, and I'm not going to say who the people are, but there's songs that, if I would say it right now, this whole chat fucking loves, not cleared to this day, and there's not a lawsuit in sight, I'll be honest. Someone just said Mad Lib almost never clears samples. That is not even true at all. At all. That's not true. Like there's so much intricate Mad Lib music that is cleared on every single track. And that's the, the real truth, to be honest with you. We're not going to get into specific people. Just don't say shit like that about people because that's just as bad as snitching. That puts it in the air for people to go dig and go find out and go sue somebody. You know what I mean? But I'll say this much. There's songs that are 10 times bigger than a million plays, 10 times bigger than 10 million plays that still have things in them that aren't cleared. So I don't think you worrying about your first project, your first beat tape, this first thing you're putting out with an artist, you should be like, oh, let's not put it out because of a sample. Wait till there's a problem um, until you're a signed artist, until you're signed as a publishing deal, until you could get a bigger party in trouble, I'd say don't be so stressed about it. But that is true with uh, producers and artists. So remember, this is not the same advice if you give a beat to an artist who's signed or an artist who's way bigger or an artist who has more followers, you might cost yourself that relationship or more relationships and that song. If you sample something, don't tell that you sampled and then an artist puts it on their project and then they get sued and it gets taken off. Trust me, bro. They're not only going to tell people that that happened with you and not to work with you, but they're not going to work with you again, and the song's going to get taken down. Uh, let me tell you something about me. Every goddamn thing that I sample has to be cleared at this point in my career, and I have no option. I'm not getting away with it. You want to know why I'm not getting away with it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Every single one of y'all and everyone on every single one of my platforms and track lib putting out videos about every thing I sample and who sampled, you know what I mean, having... The songs that I produced up in 48 hours. I'm at a point now where I literally have to clear everything. Louis, I, I cleared 30 samples. I'm clearing stuff that's not like things that I'm putting drums under. I'm clearing one word little things. I'm clearing a string that only happens for 30 seconds. I'm clearing an acoustic guitar that got layered with something else. I got to clear in everything at this point because there's eyes on me. And people debunk my beats the day I make them. Soon as a beat comes out that I've made, there's something the next day that's a fake version of it. Someone found the sample and is talking about it, whatever it is. You guys got to understand, though, that there's people my size and people even bigger than me who get away with it. But you got to be honest. Sometimes the worst thing is an algorithm, right? Like, sometimes the worst thing is YouTube takes it down because they know the sample. SoundCloud takes it down because they know the sample. There's algorithms that UMPG and uh, WMG and all these companies that control the rights to the music you're sampling, they've developed algorithms that it's the reason why you go to upload something on YouTube or SoundCloud that says, nope. You ever tried to upload a beat you did on Instagram and it said, nope. It said 100% uploaded. Then you went to look at it on your page and you got a exclamation point notification. It said, sorry, you're using uh, copyrighted audio. 
That's what happens whenever people uh, put up videos of my stream or people put up videos of the cave and stuff. You get a notification, and sometimes the notification just says you can't get any monetization on this because it is uh, property and content from another user or that is copyrighted by companies that I'm signed to. So sometimes you guys don't need to worry about getting snitched on or somebody uh, who you sampled coming for the money. Sometimes it's literally the computer is going to know before you even upload it. And that's what sucks. Imagine if you made this beat tape and it's amazing and you're like, all right, I'm going to upload it. I'm not clearing anything. Fuck it. I'll worry about it once it's a problem. And then you can't even upload it. That's the real obstacle, I think. Someone said, can you distort a sample so badly that the computer can't catch it? I wouldn't say distort, but you can manipulate, chop, pitch, effect, rearrange, reverse, melodyne, warp. There's a lot of things you can do. You know what I mean? If there's no metadata and something's been warped and flipped 8 million times, it's hard for a computer or anybody to call that out. But... Sometimes that's not the type of sampling people are doing. Sometimes people loop. Sometimes people use a recognizable section. Sometimes people don't pitch. Sometimes people only have a couple chops that are easy for a computer to deduct or someone who knows the original song to figure out. If you really know a song really well, sometimes no matter how you sample it, you just feel the texture of it. Like sometimes there's old songs that we all know or we all love and then you hear it flipped and you can't even tell how they flipped it, but you know where it's from, you know? And so if we, if someone can do that, even if you have affected it or pitched it a million times as a human, trust me, that computer could do that too. But there are, there are times you get lucky. I think it's more luck. I've seen people reverse, flip, uh, put 10 plugins on something, rebounce it, bounce it again, run it through gear, bounce it again, da da da, and then upload it. And it'd be like, nope, we know where you got this. So it depends. So I'm not going to tell y'all don't put out music without clearing it. I'm going to tell you if, if you're not getting someone else in trouble and if you're not getting a bigger company in trouble or getting yourself in trouble with a company you have a, a situation with or you're producing for an artist and you could get them in trouble if you haven't discussed this clearly with the artist uh, or with your team or whatever, don't get anyone else in trouble. Don't get yourself in trouble with a big company. But if the worst case scenario is sampling something and that blows your name up or that gets you opportunities and maybe it gets taken down you better put out that uncleared beat a hundred percent